back from the dead Yo, what's up guys, this is Yusuf Shaw from TechDroids and AMD is finally out with their desktop Ryzen APU. So the thing we were waiting for such a long time, it's finally here. So all the budget gamers are now delighted because they can get a really good CPU or an overall package for a very affordable price. And if you are into something like that, this is a $400 gaming PC build featuring the new Ryzen 5 desktop APU, that is the 2400G. So I'm gonna take you guys over the performance and the upgrades that you can do and also the parts that you should get alongside the APU to get the best performance or best price to performance for your hard-earned money. So yeah, if you're into that kind of a thing, watch this video till the end and also all the parts that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description to Amazon US and those are affiliate links. So yeah, if you wanna help the channel out in turn help me make more videos, go buy from those links. And yeah, first I'm gonna take you guys over the parts that you should get to build this PC and later on we'll talk about the performance and the upgrades and things like that. So with that being said, let's get started. So starting off with the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G. It's a four core, eight thread CPU with six megabytes of total cache, comes clocked with 3.6 gigahertz, it is overclockable and goes up to 3.9 gigahertz in terms of boost. It has a Vega 11 GPU clocked at 1250 megahertz and that Vega 11 stands for 11 compute units and takes up 65 watts of power, so it has a 65 watt TDP and retails for $169. Now to house that CPU, we have the ASRock AB350M HDV motherboard that has all the essentials, AM4 socket type, you know, HDMI, DDR4, USB3, SATA3, and also M.2 for super fast storage. Comes in a micro ADX form factor and retails for only $60. Now for RAM, we have eight gigabytes of Crucial Sport LT. Don't talk about the pricing. It has been skyrocketing lately, I know, but eight gigabytes of DDR4 at 2666 megahertz is what your APU needs. APU is like fast and a lot of memory because the GPU inside the CPU does not have its own memory so it's like shared memory it uses your ram so yeah always get more ram when you're building an apu pc now for mass storage we have one terabyte of wd blue at 7200 rpm 3.5 inch form factor 64 megabytes of cache 49 dollars for one terabyte you cannot complain now to power this whole build up we have the thermal take 500 watt psu with adx in size 80 plus certified so you'll be getting 80 percent plus efficiency at all times or at least in ideal conditions and for 39 dollars it's a bargain so get it evga power supplies have been you know expensive lately so this is my choice for now to wrap this whole build up and for the case we have the cooler master master box light 3.1 it's a gorgeous looking case in terms of micro atx form factors and comes with tempered glass side panels. It is available in a million colors and only retails for $40. Although the price can fluctuate, so it is if it is retailing for about $50 to $60, wait for a good deal or maybe pay that $50 because it's totally worth it. This case looks good. Now that was it for the parts. Now let's talk about the performance. Now this is the APU build for $400. And in terms of that pricing, this should be able to get you 1080p gaming in modern AAA titles like GTA 5, Witcher 3, Battlefield 1, but you need to keep your expectations down. So 1080p, low to medium settings should be a thing. Don't you know, even think about textures and anti-aliasing in the modern heavy titles. But if you're looking for something like CSGO, Dota 2, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Minecraft, and things like that, the games that don't require a lot of power, maybe last generation titles, they're gonna run really well on this, perfectly at 60 FPS, medium to max settings, depends on what settings you wanna play. Now let's talk about the upgrades that you can get in the future. You should probably add a GPU and you're completely sorted and more RAM and storage if you need it. The CPU side of things on the Ryzen 5 2400G are equivalent to a Ryzen 5 1400, which is an awesome little CPU. So yeah, you're getting, you know, four cores and eight threads. So the CPU part is sorted. You need not upgrade the CPU even in the future, but if you need more performance, you can jump up even to a Ryzen 7 if you wanted to, but yeah, that's, something for the future, but right now I'd say just get a decent little GPU, GTX 1050 Ti, RX 570, 560, if you can grab one for the you know right price, and that should be it. And that wraps it up guys. Thanks a lot for watching this one, and I know I haven't been uploading for a long time. That's because my boards are right around the corner. Exams are coming up, so you know, just won't be able to upload a whole lot more videos on YouTube. I'll try my best, but that's been it. I hope you appreciate it. Thumbs up will be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Comment down below what do you think about this build, whatever changes you want to make, what are your opinions and thoughts. I'll be there in the comment section replying to you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.